What's going on guys, Jake Tews, latest Mustang and Bronco news. Today's video is all about the 2021 Ford Bronco. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with the latest Bronco news. So there's so much Bronco news that I'm just gonna go straight up one take and go through the 6G forms because there's just, there's, there's so much. So first up, if you don't already know, this is just essentially, this is off Ford's website. I believe Jalopnik took a good look at it also, but if you wanna go check that out, you can get really in depth over at Bronco 6G. I'm not gonna go over all this. Obviously it's got a big solid straight rear axle, uh, independent front suspension, and they talk about the attachment points and the different, different stuff. You can check that out over there at Bronco 6G. Velocity Blue is gonna be available. That is Velocity Blue. Here is the black Bronco wild track with the sasquatch package so apparently this is the wild track with the sasquatch package top is off and she's happy let's just check out the wheel and tire package the other thing is the the cool thing you know you're seeing here's this big rear mounted wheel big open top there and this truck has been you know it's got dirt on it they've been using it there's the interior the, the seats look nice the handle got the big screen so this is more the upper end trim levels. Moving right along, this guy's happy too. Good looking truck. Someone did a write up on the different sway bar disconnect, front and rear locker, locking up the inside wheel to, to, for the turning radius, and he did a whole write up on that. A new sight video, three Broncos at three different heights, roof rack, two door, we've got all this. Uh, so this guy over here, Farmer Jack, posted a video. Basically, I believe he was staying at a hotel or something. He went outside and uh, he's got a bunch of Broncos. So this is cool. Go check out his video, 2021 Broncos part outside. He kind of gets up close. He does a good job at filming them and he gets right up underneath them and takes a good look underneath the cars and everything. You can check all that out over there on his video. Some stills, he got some good stills, some interior shots. There's a nice color. Let's check out the next video. Here is the soft top in the half open position going down the highway. So this guy's got the top off cruising down the highway. Lewis J41 over on Bronco 6G posted this. He's in Maryland is his location. I'm assuming that's where this was shot. Pretty cool. Look at that ride height. Ride height in the rears. Interesting looking. Let's see it come by again. Let's see if it'll come by. Yeah, the back end's got some, some. It looks jacked up a little bit more in the back. Anyways, more, 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 and more, and more. It just keeps coming. Like I didn't post a video for one day, and there's like ten new articles over on 6G Bronco to get IQ Tech package to bolster Copilot 360 autopilot like system. Cactus Gray. Here's Cactus Gray. That's that was from the video, I believe. Yeah. So here's Cactus Gray, guys. I like Cactus Gray, so that's not white. That is Cactus Gray. I'm digging that. What do you guys think? Do you prefer a full-on white or do you prefer Cactus Gray? Let me know in the comment section. Trail cam, so it's a front camera. And there's your roof. So these are gonna be, this is gonna have 200 different accessories for the roof, uh, for the vehicle. That's one of them on the roof. What else do we have here? Just some different wheels and tire packages that they're showing off. There's your rock sliders, undercarriage. That cactus gray is sick. Two inches on the Raptor. So that's a Raptor next to it, and it looks bigger than the Raptor. All right, let's head back because there's just, there's just more and more and more. Ford and dealers report big early demand for 2021. Let's see what this says. $100 deposits, the website uh, crashed, 3,500 were already spoken for, that's the first edition, those are gone, those are reserved anyways. I'm sure people are gonna back out of the reservation and then the Ford dealerships are gonna be like, oh hey, well we've got some first editions, they're only 40 grand markup, who knows what they're gonna do, but. All right, here is a side-by-side -side siding, Sasquatch versus non-Sasquatch Broncos and a Jeep Wrangler. So this would, the biggest one would be the Sasquatch. Now, the Sasquatch just looks so much bigger and better than the non-Sasquatch packages, if you cannot tell. I mean, it almost just makes the other ones look not cool at all. It's almost like you just need to go ahead and get that. So on the Jeep, they already have the big fenders. On this, not so much. On this, not so much. So this is the non-Sasquatch package Bronco. That's a four-door. Let's look at it from the front. Four-door non-Sas. 
this is not like a Rubicon or anything. This is just uh, what looks like a two-door Jeep Wrangler. And then they're just, the Wrangler's got 245, 75, 17s. And the Bronco's got the big 315, 70, 17s. The four-door's got 255, 70, 18s. So rare hands-on review of the 2021 Bronco. Ashland City, Tennessee from my hometown. Okay, our OK Pool Drive president, Jim, was, can't pronounce the last name, was the Broncos Lease New York. So there's the two-door, definitely Sasquatch. There's that little hard top. That's a great-looking truck, guys. Great-looking truck. There's with the top and doors removed. Pretty awesome, man. Super rugged. There's the doors off. Front rear locker, turn assist. There's the electronics for the door. Just looks pretty easy to unplug. Just the rear axle and stuff. But let's look at this. Let's see. This is the four door and that cac. No, what is this? What color is this? White hard top. I like how they kind of color match the white handle. That's kind of that's kind of unique. Good looking truck. And then you've got the white cactus gray with white top picks because you've got all these different white top cactus gray white handles. Great looking truck. All right, guys, a lot of guys were wondering, including myself, if it folds flat in the back. So Mike Levine, Levine, they do fold flat with four inches of step from the cargo floor and a slight incline. So thanks for getting that out to us. Four inch step and slight incline. So it will likely be similar to this incline angle of a four door seat folded down, which shows an incline slightly than that of a seat. So let's check it out. So here's the photos. So it does have a pull out tray accessory and you've got a swing thing here, swing door, and you've got the glass that opens up. So it looks like, well, here's the Bronco Sport. So that's just a tweet. Everyone's been, everyone's, here's, here's the photos we have though. So this is the four door. It looks like there is going to be a slight incline, which I don't care about that. I'm told if it's got a slight incline, totally fine. And, but it does look like there is going to be back seats fold down swing open you have extra leg room if you want to do that They're, they make those tents that drop down at the back but um still don't know the leg room here's the sport that's what that looks like so that's the latest on the leg room and kind of if it folds down flat that's about all we've got right now really what what the cool thing is that this is really cool this is probably the best best post today this was just posted a couple hours ago Prototypes on an R&D, Bundy Hill Off-Road Park in Michigan. This park looks pretty serious. So if you can get in a photo to look like you're on an incline, that's pretty steep because in photos and videos, it always looks like you're not on an incline, basically. It never looks steep, to be honest. So if it actually looks steep in a picture or video, then it's really, really steep. There's obviously... The big tire package, Sasquatch package, and they're still they're testing lots of stuff, guys. They're still testing and testing and testing. You know, like I said, they're going to be able to change a lot of these adjustments, and if they're, if they're they're going to find out what's wrong. If there's something wrong, they're going to try to fix it before and they can still make adjustments. So they're they got a lot of these cars. They're going to they're hoping to sell a lot of these things. So they're just trying to get as many on the road as possible and do the final touches and make sure they're not overlooking anything. So they've got these test measurement you know measuring everything that they possibly can and i don't know how far he got up this but that's that's pretty steep that's pretty gnarly if it looks big in the photos it's really big in real life even that i know that that's not that steep but if it i mean it it's steep enough though guys if it looks steep in a photo it's really steep i'll quit quit repeating myself but trust me all right guys Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the links below if you'd like to support the channel. And I will catch you in the next video. Let me know what color. Do you want a two-door or a four-door? What engine? What options? What model? What trim? Let me know all that in the comment section below. And I will catch you in the next video.